High in the skies of East Asia, a silent giant slumbers. Mount Pektu, a majestic peak straddling the border of China and North Korea, holds a secret deep within its heart. This is not just a mountain, it is a supervolcano. A colossal cauldron of molten rock churns beneath its serene surface. For centuries, it has remained dormant, its power hidden from the world. But recent whispers from the Earth suggest that Mount Pektu is awakening. Scientists are now racing to understand this enigmatic giant and the potential threat it poses. The fate of millions hangs in the balance. An eruption of Mount Pektu would be unlike anything witnessed in modern history. It could unleash a cataclysmic fury, blanketing the region in ash, disrupting global climate patterns, and forever altering the course of human civilization. This is the story of Mount Pektu, a sleeping giant on the verge of awakening. Mount Pektu, also known as Changbai Mountain in China, is a place of profound cultural and spiritual significance. For centuries, it has been revered as a sacred mountain, a place where heaven and earth meet. Its slopes are steeped in folklore and mythology. Ancient tales speak of mythical creatures and divine beings who reside on its slopes. The mountain's name itself, Pektu, means Whitehead, a testament to its snow-capped peak. This serene lake known as Heaven Lake fills the caldera, a vast crater formed by ancient eruptions. It is a place of breathtaking beauty, its crystal-clear waters reflecting the surrounding peaks. But beneath this tranquil facade lies a fiery heart. Mount Pektu is a stratovolcano, a type of volcano known for its explosive eruptions. Its history is marked by periods of intense activity interspersed with long periods of dormancy. The last major eruption occurred in 946 AD, an event that forever etched its mark on the region's history. In recent decades, scientists have observed a series of unsettling changes on Mount Pektu. The mountain has begun to stir from its slumber. Subtle tremors, like whispers from the deep, have been rippling through the Earth's crust. These earthquakes, though small in magnitude, are a clear indication that the volcano is active. They are a stark reminder of the immense forces at play beneath the surface. Adding to the concern, scientists have detected an increase in gas emissions particularly sulfur dioxide from the volcano's summit. These gases are a telltale sign of rising magma, the molten rock that fuels volcanic eruptions. Furthermore, satellite observations have revealed subtle changes in the shape of the mountain. These ground deformations, though barely perceptible to the naked eye, suggest that pressure is building beneath the surface. The question is not if Mount Pektu will erupt again, but when. What makes Mount Pektu particularly intriguing and potentially more dangerous is its unique geological setting. The volcano sits atop a complex intersection of tectonic plates, the massive slabs of rock that make up the Earth's outer layer. Here, the Pacific Plate, the largest of these plates, is slowly grinding beneath the Eurasian Plate. This process, known as subduction, is responsible for the formation of volcanoes and earthquakes along the Pacific Ring of Fire a zone of intense geological activity that encircles the Pacific Ocean. However, Mount Pektu's location is unusual, even for the Ring of Fire. The angle of subduction beneath the volcano is extremely shallow, which means that the Pacific Plate is scraping along the underside of the Eurasian Plate. This creates a tremendous amount of friction and pressure, potentially contributing to the volcano's explosive potential. Furthermore, the presence of a large volume of water, both in Heaven Lake and in the surrounding groundwater, adds another layer of complexity. When magma interacts with water, it can trigger violent steam explosions, increasing the explosiveness of an eruption. Section 5. Echoes of a Cataclysm To understand the true destructive power of Mount Paktu, one needs to look no further than its past. In 946 AD, the volcano unleashed a cataclysmic eruption that ranks among the most powerful in recorded history. Known as the Millennium Eruption, this event ejected an estimated 100 cubic kilometers of volcanic material into the atmosphere, blanketing the surrounding landscape in a thick layer of ash. The eruption was so powerful that it is believed to have ejected material as far as Greenland, thousands of miles away. The impact on the surrounding region was devastating. Forests were flattened, crops were destroyed, and entire settlements were buried under ash. The eruption likely had a profound impact on the climate, causing widespread cooling and potentially triggering famines. The Millennium Eruption serves as a chilling reminder of the destructive power that lies dormant beneath Mount Pike II's serene exterior. 
Section 6. The Global Impact A future eruption of Mount Pektu, especially one on the scale of the Millennium Eruption, could have far-reaching consequences extending well beyond the immediate vicinity of the volcano. The eruption would inject massive amounts of ash and sulfur dioxide into the atmosphere, potentially disrupting global climate patterns. The ash cloud could circle the globe, blocking sunlight and causing widespread cooling. Sulfur dioxide, a potent greenhouse gas, could have both cooling and warming effects, depending on its concentration and altitude in the atmosphere. The economic impact would also be significant. Air travel would be disrupted, as ash clouds pose a serious hazard to aircraft engines. Agriculture would be affected as ash fall could damage crops and contaminate water supplies. The global supply chain could be disrupted, as the region surrounding Mount Paktu is home to major industries and transportation routes. The potential human cost is incalculable, with millions of people living within the volcano's potential blast zone. Section 7. Unlocking the Secrets of the Earth Recognizing the potential threat posed by Mount Paktu, scientists from around the world are working tirelessly to unlock its secrets. They are deploying a wide array of sophisticated instruments to monitor the volcano's every move. Seismometers are being used to track earthquakes, providing insights into the movement of magma beneath the surface. Gas sensors are measuring the composition and volume of volcanic gases, offering clues about the state of the magma chamber. GPS stations are detecting minute changes in the shape of the mountain, indicating pressure buildup within the volcano. However, predicting volcanic eruptions remains an inexact science. Volcanoes are complex and unpredictable systems and their behavior can change rapidly. Despite the best efforts of scientists, it is impossible to say with certainty when or how violently Mount Pektu will erupt again. The challenge for scientists is not only to understand the volcano's behavior, but also to communicate this information effectively to the public and authorities. Section 8. The Future of Fire and Ice Mount Pektu stands as a stark reminder of the awesome power of nature and the delicate balance upon which human civilization rests. It is a volcano poised on the brink, its future shrouded in uncertainty. The whispers from the deep are growing louder, signaling that the sleeping giant is awakening. The question is not if it will erupt again, but when, and with what fury. As scientists continue to unravel the mysteries of Mount Pektu, one thing is clear. The fate of millions hangs in the balance. The story of Mount Pektu is a story of both awe and apprehension. It is a story of the Earth's immense power and the fragility of human existence. It is a story that reminds us that we are but temporary inhabitants of this planet, subject to the whims of forces far greater than ourselves. Yet, it is also a story of human ingenuity and resilience, as we strive to understand and mitigate the risks posed by natural hazards. The future of Mount Pektu is uncertain, but one thing is for sure the world is watching.